Hey friends, welcome to my very first Thursday, Thursday. For the past two weeks, I keep forgetting to do Tip Tuesday. So this is a kind of another rendition of it, but I wanted to share with you guys, have you ever heard of matcha tea? I think a lot of people may have heard of it and some people may have tried it, but the traditional way of making matcha tea is you just add the powder with water, you whisk it with this, and it just doesn't taste very good. It tastes kind of like grass. And I don't know about you, but I don't have a desire to drink or eat grass, <laughs> even though it could be really good for you. But you have to enjoy it. If you don't enjoy it, you're, you aren't going to do it, regardless of how good it is for you. Now, some people are, are kind of hardcore like me. Like, I will literally do things because it's so healthy for me. I don't care what it tastes like. I just want to get it in my body. But for most people, if you don't enjoy it, you aren't going to do it. So it's not going to benefit you. So I get my organic... Um, ceremonial matcha tea from Mighty Leaf. You can get this from Pete's. You can also get it online from Amazon. Now you wanna make sure you get the ceremonial matcha. There is a organic matcha tea that's available, but it's a lower grade. And you wanna get the higher grade, one, because it tastes better, two, because it's healthier for your body, right? And you wanna make sure you get organic, guys. You don't wanna be putting in non-organic things that are gonna cause your body to have a buildup of toxins. You don't want that. So I'm gonna show you, I have this little itty bitty um, tea measurer that I got from David's Tea. Um, I don't really drink their teas, or not organic, but I like the little spoon. So I have my little matcha, and it comes in a little container like this in your matcha box, and I just, seal the little sealer so you're going to take your your um your one little scoop of matcha tea just like this okay now i have this little itty bitty strainer the reason why i'm going to strain it like this before i put it in my strainer and i strain it into my cup okay and the reason why i'm doing that i'm just going like this and straining it into my cup the reason why i'm doing that for is it makes it even finer and it makes it taste better. You don't want to drink your matcha tea. I'm kind of making basically a matcha tea latte. Hey, Deborah, how are you? And with the the strainer, it makes it even thinner. It makes it even more um, and finer. And you want it that way because you don't want to be drinking your tea and get a big clump of matcha. That's not going to be pleasant for you. you. Again, you want this to taste good. You want to enjoy it. So those are two little tools I have that I use for my matcha tea. You also want to make sure you get this one of these little bamboo things you want to use this to whisk the tea. I'm doing good, good to see you. Happy Friday Eve. All right, so I have my, my I have my matcha, ceremonial matcha in my cup and I use that. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of hot water, okay? You always wanna use, make sure it's not, um, you know, tap water, right? So you're gonna use a little bit of water, not too much because you want, need to have room to whisk it, okay? So now you see the water is in there, okay? And it's very hot, I just boiled it. I'm gonna take my little whisker and I'm gonna swish it around as fast as I can. <laughs> like a little energizer bunny. You're gonna whisk it, whisk it, whisk it really, really well. Cause you wanna make sure again, you don't want clumps of, of ceremonial matcha when you're drinking your tea. It does not, it's not a pleasant experience. We want this to be pleasant so you enjoy it, okay? So I'm whisking it all up just like this. Now it's kind of frothy, so now I'll put that aside. It's nice and a little bit frothy. You can, some people just drink it like this. You could totally, if you're like just, I wanna get it in my body, and I don't want any more calories, you can just sip it like stevia. This, they have different flavors. This one is vanilla cream, okay? It's wonderful. It's a great sugar option. It does not spike your sugar levels. It does not feed your sugar addiction because it's designed to give you a little bit of sweetener that's, and it's organic. It's not gonna hurt your body, but it's gonna help you not gain weight, but it's gonna make it more pleasurable to drink. I use this in my coffee as well. There's toffee flavor, there's chocolate flavor, there's plain. I love the vanilla cream, it's my favorite. Now guys, with any stevia, um, you wanna make sure you don't put too much. So the most you wanna put, depending on how big your cup is, is five drops. You never put more than that, because it's gonna make it bitter, right? Some people say, oh, stevia is bitter, I don't like it. Well, you probably put too much in. Too much is not a good thing. So for this one, I'm just gonna put um, one, two, three drops, that's it. Okay, now I have this big fat cup for my coffee. This big guy I made myself piece. I love this cup. I put five in this because it's a big cup. This is a smaller cup, so I might be probably should have started with two and not three. It's a smaller cup, but we'll see. Hopefully, two is going to be three. Three is going to be okay. All right, so I have that now. Now it's ready to roll. I also have this really cool gadget that I got from Amazon. It's a little whisker that also you can use to make it kind of. It wants to be frothy, frothy and be delicious. But I also have what I love even more is Keurig makes this itty bitty little frother. 
and it's a fantastic. I have milk in here. I'm going to throw my milk in here. I don't know if you could see it. It's all frothed up. You see that how nice it is? Now, I'm not going to put the, the frothy part in there yet. I'm going to use my little whisker right here and my, my, my battery after one. I'm going to mix it really well like this first, okay? So I have it in here and I'm mixing it in here. You have to be careful because it can go over if you put too much water and too much milk. So the milk is in here. I'm whisking it just like this. This is also on Amazon. I can put the links to these guys. I'm not an affiliate. I don't get any money, but I can put the links in the comments below if you want to know. <gasps> See, I just spilled it. How to get it. Again, it's tricky. You could totally spill it like I just did. All right, so that's now whisked, okay? And now what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to add the top, the milk, the rest of the milk in here so it's nice and fluffy. And this really makes it like almost like marshmallows, like that nice fluff you get when you go to, to a, a coffee place. They they have that nice fluff at the top, but they have the big massive one. So I'm just trying to get it to come all out. It's a little bit stuck at the moment. But guys, what I love about this frother, and this thing's about, if you get it from Keurig directly, it's about $59, 50 bucks, $55 or something. If you get it from Amazon, or if you get this from, um, from any place else, Target, it's by about 60 some, 65. So it's about $10 or so more, but you get it directly from Keurig. Um, I, guys, for me, I don't use regular half and half. I use almond milk. I also have one that's a soy. I can't do, do dairy or sugar. So I will oftentimes use, um, Silk has one that's called half and half. That's actually coconut milk and almond milk, I mean, oat milk mixed together. It's a, it froths beautifully. So this frother can froth anything, oat milk, almond milk, silk, right? Um, the key is don't put it all the way up to the top of the little blender thing. You have to put it right below so it actually gets nice and frothy. Now, if you can see, I don't know if I can show you without spilling it. You see the froth? So now the matcha tea is pretty much ready. I mixed it together. Um, you might want to add a little bit more milk depending on how, how much you want it to be, how milky you want it. This is pretty good. Um, and guys, when you, you know, it just, it has like, it's basically like a, a latte, a ma matcha tea latte. It's not just a regular matcha tea. It's super delicious. Um, it, the vanilla makes it almost like cotton candy. It's a delicious combination. Um, and it's just, and the reason you want to do matcha guys is one is matcha is a superfood, a superfood that is so good for your body. It is an antioxidant. There's so many, you can just Google matcha, tea, matcha and find out what the health benefits are. It's an antioxidant. It's a great alternative. If you drink, you want know, those fancy foo-foo drinks from Starbucks that are super, if you get a matcha tea from Starbucks, let me just tell you, it's loaded with sugar loaded it's already in the mix so you can't avoid it. it's also not organic this is now an organic um a, a organic delicious drink that has no sugar because it has the stevia drops but it has a little bit of sweetener from it a little bit of vanilla flavor to it you have the milk that makes it nice and creamy it's a delicious drink that's not going to be loaded with calories now you have some fat it depending on the kind of milk you use this was half and half which i can't have but um, that adds a little bit of fat, so you want to make sure you don't use too much of it, right? Yeah, whipped cream. Yeah, exactly. It works so well. Yes, it's wonderful. So I want to recommend, you know, you want to try, guys, why do you want to avoid sugar? Because sugar number is, is 10 times more addicting than heroin and cocaine. It's real. You have literal real, real withdrawals in your body is why you want to be careful not to add too much sugar to your body. It causes brain fog. It causes weight gain. It causes diabetes. It destroys your brain cells. Um, sugar literally can block your medications. So if you're on like any kind of antidepressant medications, sugar literally blocks the medication from working. It does not work. People don't know this. So you want to try to find some alternatives. You can't just cut sugar and do nothing. Most people can't do that. I'm kind of hardcore that way. I quit cold turkey until I found these. And I was so excited I could have some sweetener back in my stuff. So, but there's options for you. There's also organic monk fruit powder that you can use for recipes to make like, you know, but I make a little bunk cake like I'm making later on today that I use no sugar. I use, I use the stevia, the, the, the monk. I use actually the monk, organic monk fruit powder, which you can get from Amazon. So there's so many options, but the reason why you, matcha tea is so healthy for you, it's a great superfood for your body. It tastes good when you make it this way, okay? And it's gonna fuel your body, help your body, and it's not gonna feed your sugar addiction. It's not gonna cause any harm to your body. It's gonna add to your body. You wanna do things that are gonna add to your body and honor your body. Our bodies work really hard for us every single day. We wanna do things that are gonna honor our body, 
right? That's gonna fuel it with the proper fuel it needs to be optimal, working optimally, as well as honor it. Our bodies are just, we, we're a team. We need to work together with our bodies. So that's my little um, Thirsty Thursday. If you need a little, little warm drink, it's freezing cold. I'm in Incline Village and I have my hat on because I'm freezing today. This is a nice little hot drink you can have. It's not going to make you gain weight. It's not going to mess up your sugar, make you addicted to sugar again. It's a really healthy, wonderful option. Yeah, I hope you try it. Let me know how that works. If you try it, comment below. Let me know how that works for you. And I can put some links in the comments about some of the products I'm using if you're not familiar with them and where to find them. All right, so that's my thir my first Thirsty Thursday. If this blessed you in any way, I ask that you would just share it with your friends. Like this, comment, and share it so that other people can be blessed by it too. I'm going to upload it to my YouTube as well. I just want to pray for you really quickly. So, Lord, I just bless everybody watching this. Deborah and those watching on the replay, Lord, I ask you just to bless them. I ask you to bless their day. Lord, I even ask that you would just send every angel on assignment to help them with their health journey. Help them to reconnect with their body with you, Lord, so that we don't have to guess what our body needs. We can know what our body needs. I just release my over, I've overcome sugar, Lord, so I just release that anointing to anybody who needs to also overcome sugar. God, I just ask that you would give to them everything you've given me. And I pray that, pray that Jesus in your mighty, powerful name. Amen. Well, bless you. Love you so much. Have an amazing um, thir Friday Eve. Today's Thursday. I have to call it Friday Eve because I love Fridays. But bless you with our, my first Thirsty Thursday. Share it. And I can't wait to hear from you how you enjoy this. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.